Welcome to the Afternoon Update, I'm Ellie Petrusevich. The federal government has secured an additional 20 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine after backflipping on advice about the AstraZeneca jab. Pfizer is now the preferred vaccine for people under the age of 50 after medical experts expressed concerns about rare blood clots potentially linked to the jab. It is anticipated that these additional 20 million doses will be available in quarter four of this year. That's our current instruction and we'll obviously be doing everything we can to seek to move that forward where we can. PM Scott Morrison there. Meantime, New South Wales has temporarily paused administration of the AstraZeneca jab to all age groups at its state-run clinics. To the US, where America's powerful gun lobby is already vowing to fight President Joe Biden's planned changes to gun laws. He wants to ban homemade weapons and make changes to shut down trafficking of firearms. Sad news out of the Sydney Zoo, which is mourning the death of Mowgli the chimpanzee. The zoo says the team is in a state of deep Deep shock and grief after finding the chimp dead in his enclosure this morning. To Northern Ireland, where violent riots have continued for a fourth day in Belfast as tensions rise between loyalist and nationalist groups. Eight police officers have been injured and two men have been arrested in the riots. And Facebook and Instagram are back up and running after crashing this morning. It's unclear what caused the global outage. In sport, world number one Ash Barty has cruised through to the quarterfinals of the Charleston Tennis Open after defeat. Beating American Shelby Rogers today in three sets. The Aussie is the last of the top eight seeds remaining. And in golf, Englishman Justin Rose leads by four shots after his opening round at seven under par at the US Masters in Augusta. The best of the Aussies is Mark Leishman, seven behind at even par. To entertainment news, Britney Spears is the latest celebrity to get her COVID vaccine. The pop star assuring fans it was pain-free. The people on the internet said it was really, really bad. It was like a bullet going through your arm. It was nothing. I felt nothing. I'm fine and I hope I continue to stay fine. Warner Brothers says it's planning to release all its big budget movies in cinemas next year. The production company tried experimenting with home streaming during the pandemic and never before seen footage of the Queen has been released as part of a new documentary to mark her 95th birthday. Much of the footage was taken during royal tours of Australia, New Zealand and Canada. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.